Hi, it's Dr. Arif Rajapura here, Director of Public Health at Blackpool Council, here to give you an update on the pandemic and how it's affecting Blackpool. Um, we have seen quite a significant rise over the last uh, week or two in terms of COVID cases. So we're now currently at 400 per 100,000, uh, which is ab above the Northwest average, uh, which, which stands at 300, 370. Um, so that rise has continued and it is uh, uh, of concern that we've seen that continual rise. As you will have seen uh, in the news that we've now been moved into uh, what's called tier three, a very high local alert level. Blackpool, along with the rest of Lancashire, was moved into that tier um, last week. Uh, and um, that means there are now some additional restrictions people need to follow and the rules have changed. So what this means for Blackpool is that people cannot mix with other households uh, indoors uh, or in their private gardens. So they cannot meet other people both indoors and in, in the garden. You can only meet people outdoors in open public spaces such as parks uh, with groups of up to six people and no more. And also, we're now asking people to reduce the number of journeys and to avoid travel outside uh, of the area uh, unless needed. So you need to stay within within the uh, high alert level area. So those are some of the changes, but to see the full list of local restrictions and what it means for you, please go to our Blackpool Council website and the link will be at the end of this video so you can pick up all all the restrictions there the restrictions are going to be in place for four weeks from so from from when they were implemented last week they'll they'll carry on um before then we will we'll have an idea of whether the restrictions have had any impact and what we need to do next so in terms of um what each of us needs to do well we all want to get out of these restrictions and of course I don't want to see further restrictions coming in which would um, further curb our freedoms. Um, so what we need to do if we want to get out of tier three restrictions is we must all work together uh, here in Blackpool to reduce our cases. This means following the age old advice which I've been telling everyone every week um, and which I can't overemphasize and we mustn't get complacent about, which is hands, face and space. So hands, wash your hands regularly for 20 seconds or more, particularly when you've been outside and you've come back into the home. Or if you're out and about, use an alcohol gel if you can't wash your hands. Face, wear a face covering uh, in indoor settings um, where, where it's mandated to, to do so. So any sort of indoor settings, such as a supermarket or a shop, uh, please make sure you wear that face covering, particularly as you're coming into contact with, with people from outside of your household. And space, try to stay two metres away um, as much as you can from people you don't live with, uh, because that's really important in reducing the spread of this, uh, of this infection. And also, if you're, if you're symptomatic, um, please, please get a test and self-isolate. If you've been told to self-isolate by the NHS test track and trace system, then you need to self-isolate for the defined period. It's usually two weeks, 14 days. Um, this helps us stop the spread of the virus and it helps us protect our communities and our local NHS. And now there are fines in place. We don't want anyone to get fined, but you know, if people don't obey the, the, the rules around this, there are fines being, being uh, imposed both on individuals and on those businesses that are not following COVID secure guidance. Um, additionally, for those people who might be living on their own and don't have people to support them if they're having to stay at home uh, and self-isolate, uh, you don't need to worry about getting support because we, ha we can provide you with that help that you need uh, to allow you to stay at home. So our Corona Kindness Service can help you. The link to the Corona Kindness Scheme can be found uh, on our website. So um, thank you very much for, for listening. Uh, please continue to follow all the guidance. Let's get these rates down from where they are currently because I think they are too high 
And if we want to get out of tier three, that's what we all need to do is to follow uh, the simple advice around hand space and space. Uh, please check check our dedicated uh, coronavirus section on our website at the end of this video. Uh, and please stay safe and I'll see you on the next uh, video. Thank you.